Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. It is time to talk pistol case expansion. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview and comparison of some of the popular case expansion dies for pistol. We'll take one of these dies, we'll move over to the Mech Marksman, we'll talk about how to set it up, and then we'll measure our case mouth expansion and talk about how to know when you've got too little or too much case mouth expansion. And this is a critical dimension because if you don't expand your case enough, you're not going to get good bullet placement. It won't stay aligned for the operation in the successive station. If you don't expand the case mouth enough and you're seeding lead bullets, you will get shaving. If you expand the case mouth too much, you're going to overwork the brass and you're going to cause premature failure, splitting, that kind of thing. So let's get straight to it. So here is our lineup. We've got an RCBS expander, Hornady expander, we've got a Lee expander and a Lyman expander all side by side, all for 45 ACP. So let's take a look inside the RCBS unit first. This has got a removable, adjustable plug. So this is the type of die where you're gonna set the depth of the die and then screw the expander plug down in until it's at the right depth for optimal expansion and you're good to go. The Hornady is a little different. The expander plug is basically the same. The big difference is that it's fixed in that the expander plug isn't removable, so you adjust the entire die to adjust your case mouth expansion. The Lee unit is interesting because it is by design a powder through expander that is also an expander that can be used standalone. That's right. So this inline expander here will, will ride up and down inside the die and it will bottom against the powder measure bushing the, the end of the drop tube that screws into the top here. Well if you're not using a powder measure and you want to use this as a standalone fixed function expander, you just screw in the funnel adapter. This is where you can use one of those little funnels or dippers and pour powder directly in, but it also serves as a hard stop so that you can use this as a standalone expander in its own station in the press. Then we have the Lyman unit. This is similar to the RCBS. What's interesting here is this is a two-step design. So there is a section of the expander plug here that will enlarge the case mouth slightly to just under bullet size for a very loose press fit. That's so that your bullet can stay aligned. And then there is a kicker which actually bells the case mouth itself. So this is the die that I wanted to show you on the press. We're gonna set this up, we're gonna verify our setup, then we'll know we're good to go. Okay, so I've got my Mech Marksman press set here on an inline fabrication quick change ultra mount. I've been using this Lyman 45 ACP sizing die to size the brass that we're gonna expand here just like we would normally. So I'm gonna drop in a Hornady lock and load bushing. I've got the bushing adapter installed on the press here. We're gonna get the die started. We're gonna remove the expander plug stem. Okay, already got the proper shoulder holder in here. We're gonna raise the ram to the top of the stroke and then screw the die down until it contacts lightly. This is just a reference. This does not need to be totally exact, but we don't want the die to be too low. We're gonna validate we're not pushing too hard on the die there. Okay, now we start the expander stem in. Grab a piece of brass. Let me show you this up close because we're gonna be doing this repetitively to get that bell set right. So we're gonna raise the ram to the top of the stroke, which takes the shell to its highest position and start to screw down the expander plug. Now we're gonna feel it hit, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the case mouth each time, looking for expansion. Then we're gonna screw it in a bit. It's gonna take a little bit to get where we want to be. We're just gonna continue watching until we see a bell. And there we are right there. That looks actually pretty good. I'm gonna back it off just a hair. It looks like we could use just a little bit less. Okay, we're gonna take a second piece here, expand it. 
Okay, it looks like we're still a little bit generous. This is pretty typical. Back it off just a little bit more. One more time, let's see. It should be kind of barely detectable. We're gonna take a bullet here and do a test fit. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more. We're right in that sweet spot right here. Okay, right there. Okay, plus just a tad. It takes a little bit of fiddling, but this is so important to get right. That looks pretty good. Again, we're gonna take a bullet here. Is it gonna be easy to set and is it gonna stay set? I think that's perfect. Let's take a quick measurement. So this is when it's time to get out your favorite pair of digital calipers. This is the iGaging Origin Cal unit, which I'm really enjoying. We're just gonna open that up a little bit and then get a reading on kind of the middle of the case, zero that out, and then move to the case mouth itself. What does that tell us? we're at about five thousandths of mouth expansion. Five to 10 is totally acceptable for this type of case. Just note that if you're dealing with revolver cartridges and you're dealing with lead bullets, you're gonna to need to go up to maybe like 20 thousandths. It's something you need to just experiment with to see how little you can get and get good quality seating without lead shaving. It's that easy. So there you go, pistol case expansion in a nutshell. Now there are a couple other considerations to think about. If you're using a bullet feeder, the multi-step design with the straight expanded section and then the trumpeted section at the case mouth is going to work a little bit better because of how bullet feeders place bullets into cases. Also, the setup instructions do vary and there are nuances between how they're set up between one brand and the next. So you're going to want to check the instructions that came with your die, but Overall, the principles that we talked about here apply, including with powder through expander dies, like the lead that I talked about, or like the Hornady PTX expander. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss any of the action on ultimatereloader.com, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.